In the British House of Commons, it has now come to this. The Prime Minister is not uh, under a desk as the <laughs> Hardly a robust defence of Liz Truss by one of her senior ministers. On a day when the British government navigated a mammoth reversal to save the economy, but the 180 did little to inspire confidence in the absent Prime Minister. Now it's time for leaders to lead. But where is the Prime Minister? Hiding away, dodging questions, scared of her own shadow. The lady's not for turning up. <laughs> When Truss did arrive, she sat behind her ministers at the dispatch box and left without speaking. With opinion polls beyond bleak for the governing Tories, one tabloid has set up a live stream of a head of lettuce to see if it outlasts the beleaguered leader. I've already said on Twitter my money's on the lettuce. Um, I guess it depends quite how long the lettuce can last. That she, as some people are saying, is Prime Minister in name only now. This is a crisis of the government's own making. The tax cuts proposed in last month's interim budget were not only deeply unpopular with the public, economists said they were unfunded and unproven, tanking the value of UK government bonds and the British pound. No new taxes. To become PM, Truss hung her hat on trickle-down tax cuts, referring to opponents as the anti-growth coalition. But leading up to Monday's U-turn, she sacrificed her finance minister, allowing his replacement to pull the handbrake turn. I mean, it completely undermines her entire, her entire leadership platform. Trust telling the BBC she will lead her party into the next election. I will lead the Conservatives into the next general election. And I want you to know how sad... Unbelievably, the British bookies say Boris Johnson is now among some of the favourites to replace Truss. Politically impossible? Maybe. But Brits are rarely surprised by the ways of Westminster anymore. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.